everybody. Welcome to the Scrapbook Pal YouTube channel. My name is Michelle and today we're going to be making a Christmas card using the Hero Arts Floral Nativity Stamp Set. I love the elegant florals in this set. It's going to make a beautiful card. So I've got my stamps already in my Misty. I'm just going to be using Mary and Joseph and the Manger and the Stable and the floral vines. I've got those placed also so I can stamp those on top of my stable when I flip it around. So I got that done ahead of time. We're going to go ahead and stamp that. And I'm going to be doing some Copic coloring on craft cardstock. And I'm using some Gina K Masking Magic to make a couple of masks. I'm going to go ahead and stamp using my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And put my masking paper in there and get that second generation of ink and cut out my masks. make one more mask that's sort of a horizon line so that I can do some ink blended on the background and I'm just going to freehand sketch a little horizon line. I'm inking over my stable, but that's okay. We'll fix that a little later on. So for my night sky, I'm going to be using tumbled glass, faded jeans, and just the slightest little touch of black soot in the regular distress ink. Okay, I'm going to start out with my tumbled glass. And since we're going on craft, this will kind of mute it down a little bit. You're not going to get as bright of a blue as you would, but that's okay. I think the way the craft mutes the colors is just perfect for a nighttime sky. And I want my lightest colors around the stable because I want this glow kind of going on at the stable. And I'm going to take my faded jeans and come in from the edges for that darker night sky. Get a little bit of that faded jeans in with the tumbled glass. And now is when I'm going to come in just a little bit with my black soot. Barely at the edges. And then when I get just a little bit of darkness there, I'm going to bring my faded jeans back in. Okay, and now I'm going to take that off and reveal our skyline. And now here for the sand, I want to add a little bit of inking to that too. So I'm just going to take the reverse side of my mask here. And just place that right on. Now my ink is still wet and it's not going to stick really well, but that's okay. I'm not going to do the majority of my inking up toward that line anyway. I'm going to do it mostly toward the bottom. So I'm using frayed burlap for that. And I really want to stamp off a lot of that so that I get just a light bit of color. didn't do much inking up toward the top of that sand line anyway, but that's what I wanted. I just wanted the mask just in case I got near that so I didn't muddy up the sky color. Okay, and I have one last ink blending part before we move on. So I'm using the Distress Ink in Picket Fence. And I'm going to use a little detail blending tool by Ranger. And just get some of that picket fence 
So a little later on, I'm going to stamp my star straight above the stable. So I'm going to take this picket fence and just decide where I want the center of that star to be. And make a circle. And then while that's still good and wet, I'm just going to pull it outward. And you get that little bit of a feathered look, like the glow of the star. So I'm going to go over that again. This will blend into my other inks. So when it dries, it's going to be very subtle. And see what a good glow that's making? I think that's just beautiful. Okay, so now for the last, just to finish that off, I'm going to make one more glow. Pull it out a little bit, and then I'm going to take the edge and just pull straight out, and then out this way, straight down to the bottom. Up to the top. I'm going to do that one more time. And I'm going to pull out the glow, and now in between each of those. the key to making that stable still look pretty okay after coloring over top of that oxide ink. I'm going to put it back into my misty and I'm going to restamp. I'm going to take my anti-static powder tool and just dust over the surface and ink up my stamp with that memento tuxedo black again. That's going to get our crisp lines back. And while that Memento Tuxedo Black is still wet, I'm going to pour over my clear embossing powder. I'm going to heat set that with my heat gun. Put that back in again. 
And I kind of want to mask off where I'm inking because I only want to get those little glow lines above baby Jesus's head. Flip that around where I already have my vines placed into my misty. And I'm going to ink those with reverse mark too. And for those, I'm going to use a gold glitter embossing powder. I think that is beautiful. Okay, back to our Misty one more time. And now I'm going to place my star in my sentiment. I want the star directly above the stable. And I'm going to use Joy to the World for my sentiment. Anti-static powder tool again, and reverse mark ink. And I'm going to do these in silver glitter. I think that is so beautiful. But I'm not done yet with the sparkle. I want to add just a little bit more. I think I, I thought I may emboss that hay in the manger with gold as well, but I changed my mind on that. I think I'm just going to add a little bit of the Nouveau Shimmer Pen and get a little glimmer on that. I want to do just a touch of the line of sand up here. All the subtle little sparkle details just really add so much interest, I think. I'm going to add a little bit of spots of glitter in the sand. And what I like to do here to get a really fine shimmer is just dot some around very lightly and then I can come back and spread that out and up here at the star I'm going to come out same way I did with that white ink I hope you guys can see that on camera. It adds a lot to it, I think. And now I'm just going to dot around a few stars in the sky. And I'm going to keep that very minimal. I don't want a lot. And I think that turned out beautifully. I'm just going to trim a little bit off of my edges just so that when I put it onto my background, I've got a little bit of a border. I 
I really wanted this to be a one layer card and just have my scene on the front of the card base itself, but you can see the way that that Copic marker bleeds through. You can't really do that. Anytime you use Copics, you need to add a panel like this onto your card base so that doesn't show. Just a little bit of liquid adhesive. And center that up. I really love this Floral Nativity set by Hero Arts. It's so elegant and beautiful. Be sure to go over to scrapbookpal.com and get your set along with all of the supplies that I used today. If you're not subscribed to the Scrapbook Pal YouTube channel, be sure and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.